How you doing? And welcome to this short video regarding the Canon EOS M Lite. So we've had good news that the ribbon cable has been found by my fellow partner, Simon, and now you can activate touchscreen on the Canon M Lite. It's something that a lot of people wanted for a long time. I didn't really care about it because I like to keep my screen clean anyway, and I'm used to using the buttons. But for those of you that do want a touchscreen, it's now available. I've put a link down below to the two parts you'll need, which is a ribbon and a PCB. They're very cheap, very affordable. So when you're building your M Lite, follow the Film Matura video as normal. But Simon has kindly made a video for us on how to install the touchscreen cable. So when you're following the Film Matura video, you're gonna to get to part four, which shows you the assembly, and then you can look at this video for reference on where to put the cables. They fit in no problem, everything works fine, there's no problem, so you'll have your full touchscreen working. If you wanna install it, it's entirely up to you. If you don't, it's no problem, the ESM light will still work as normal. Hey there, everyone. Simon here, I'm going to show you how you can get touch functionality on your M Lite build. As some of you may already know, we found a solution for the touchscreen and it's a flex cable extension that you can buy from AliExpress and it will be also available on the Filmaturist website for faster shipping times. So as you can see, the camera is already taken apart. The build process is almost the same as the original with just a few extra steps. We start by inserting the display ribbon, making sure that it's inserted properly. It needs to be pushed all the way in till the white line on the ribbon is flush with the connector as you can see here. Next we can insert the touch extension ribbon. It's the exact same process as before, just make sure that it's inserted all the way into its connector. Now we are going to take the back cover and push the extension ribbons through the display's hole. The back cover on my build has a bit of its missing because of previous experiments, but just like on the original build, you are going to insert the button's flex cable through the play button hole. Then being very careful with it, you can insert the ribbon into the connector. I can't stress this enough, but you need to be very careful with the buttons. Take as much time as you can and go slowly. I use a piece of tape to hold the ribbon in its place and you definitely want to do the same because otherwise it's likely going to get pulled out of the connector, forcing you to redo the whole process. If you want, you can test the functionality just to be sure everything is working as it should. You can now insert the dummy battery and the defeat lever. I'm not going to show that because it's not any different from the original build. Next step is going to be removing both extension boards from the ribbons because now we have a limited space to work on the body and we don't want to damage any of these parts. Then, just like on the original build, insert the camera tilted on its left side and carefully push the bottom part through the opening to the side and push both ribbons out on the slot for the display ribbons. You can install the bottom plate and mount screw to hold the camera and continue to the display part. Now you're going to see both ribbons sticking out and you're gonna start connecting the extension boards back making sure that you're careful with them and you insert both ribbons properly. You can take the screen and insert both displays and touch ribbons into the extension boards just like on the original build and carefully tuck them away into the slot so the display can sit flush with the body. From here the build process is the exact same as the original build so I'm not going to show that. We are going to skip right to the testing. As you can see, everything is working as it should. Display shows the image and the touch is working perfectly. And that's it. Take care guys and remember to not rush the build.